okay looking at this oh, i'm just greedy okay this looks like yogurt <laughs> And I ain't looking for love, 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 love. What is up, my lovies? Welcome back to my channel. And today, your girl have a first impression unboxing initial review for you. As you can tell by the title, I am going to be discussing this black owned skincare company called Kim Care. And if you are interested, stay tuned. But before before you stay tuned, I got a question for you. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, here's your time to before we hop into this video because your girl's on a mission. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, then 1,000, then 5,000, then 10,000. I just plan on taking over the world. You and me, my lovies and I will just rule the world. So if you wanna be a part of the team, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can stay up to date with my videos. So without further ado, let's get into this video, boom. Like I said, today's video is pretty much gonna be talking about this black owned skincare company called Ken Care. It is actually owned by a family it's so cute their name is stan's family they have a youtube channel i um i personally i never watched them <laughs> so it's kind of funny how i even knew learned about this product because i did not know about this product until my girl kennedy k she's a youtuber i'm her name well her eye in the sky so you guys can go check her channel out check out her review and make sure you subscribe so yeah the company is owned by um the sans family it's consisting of they have kids but i'm just going to focus on the adults um kindle and tex um they're based in texas in this in their home they just had it bought a home they have a little baby on the way congrats to them on both of those things those are like two huge things to accomplish in life so kudos to them and they're trying to run a business and they also have other kids so their life is busy so yeah um <laughs> congrats to them this product is vegan cruelty free so no that's always a good thing and then they also ship internationally so for my international lovies if i have any <laughs> um this it, you can get it try this product for yourself as well if you're interested so yeah and that's just a little bit about the company um i'm gonna leave the website below so you guys can read up on it yourselves and also see the products because you know i'm pretty sure you guys would be interested to see what else they sell other than the stuff that i showed you guys um yeah so let's just get into this this is our my first unboxing on this channel this is gonna be my first time opening this box they ship through usps so I'm about to just get me something to cut this box open. We're gonna just look in this together. Okay, so, sorry y'all, sorry if the camera's shaking. I, I got this all on my desk. I was trying to figure out where to film this at because I kind of want y'all to see inside the box with me, but things happen. So they protect it really well. They have these little papers in here. I want to show y'all them too. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, because hold on, we got to look together. Okay, I'm going to look at the camera as I grab things. I honestly forgot what I ordered. <laughs> I just remember something with a peach, because um, that's what actually even got me to ordering stuff. Okay, so yeah, they protected it with paper. Um, they had it nice in here. I don't have any spillage after y'all, the box. Nothing spilled in a box, so it's pretty protected, and I'm glad they protected it, and I'm glad USPS handled with care <laughs> so yeah we're just gonna throw this box to the side okay containers are so cute oh my god they make me want to start a business and i don't even know where to start okay 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 let me go down so um my first impression and unboxing things i'm going to be focusing on is pricing communication delivering and just overall how the product smell to me and the feel of it um obviously I will be doing my initial review of the product as far as the whole how does it feel in my body and all that stuff which will be a week later for me but for y'all it'll just be like a, a second <laughs> so yes let's get into these products we're gonna start well what my goal was to try at least each item that they have on their site um, they have more things um, scrubs creams moisturizer oils but I just got a few items to start me off because I of course, I just want to fill out the product before I go gun ho and just fill my whole entire um, room with canning hair products. So, let's start with 
Who spreads? We start with the guava moisture scrub. So this is the guava moisture scrub. Um, everything's handmade. I don't know if I said that, but everything is handmade. Um, it has this is an eight ounce container. They have directions on how to apply it. Um, and yeah, that's just how it looks. Hopefully, y'all can see it. This color is just so pretty. Kind of my nails kind of she be trying to feel get in the, the mix okay so let me open it oh wait is there any type of thing okay no it's just a simple oh my god this smells really good it, it reminds me of something i had i'm just gonna touch it just a little bit just to feel the grittiness oh yeah that's nice <laughs> a little acid okay okay i got too much on my hand but it smells really good it has a very sweet smell so if you're not the type to love sweet smells this probably not be for you me personally i love sweet smells and i love clean smells so hold on this light blues and it's super bright but there you go i'm trying to get because you know this is a fun fact i never had a guava <laughs> I can't even tell you if it just smells exactly like a guava. Um, maybe that'll be my mission. So when I do my uh, initial review that I know how the guava tastes and smell and I can confirm. But it has a sweet smell for sure. It smells really good though. Like I feel like this is one of those summer smells for sure. Even though we're going into fall. But hunty. Mama like what she smells. So yeah. This is actually, um, this was $18.00. So get a nice little bang for your buck considering this stuff is homemade and it's a home business. Well, you know, I'm not going to say, I don't know if it's a home business. I don't know. They could be making it at home. But either way, it's something that they're doing on their own. So $18 isn't bad. And you still get a lot. Like, this is a good amount for $18. Okay, next thing we have is a cherry bomb oil. Um, I'm trying to show y'all. There y'all go. It's just an oil. <laughs> it tells you warm between both hands. Massage onto clean skin. Oh, this has avocado oil and fragrance. Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but I have very sensitive skin. Um, what else? And I also have asthma. So, I am also going to be keeping an eye on that as far as that goes you know everyone's skin is different so i can't 100 say be like oh yeah don't use it if you have blah 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 but just just so you guys can get a feel of my skin i'm um, just letting you know i don't be particularly dry um so yeah i try to keep myself moisturized as much as possible especially since i have eczema but i have really bad eczema on my left leg no my <laughs> my right leg <laughs> it's my right leg okay let me smell this for y'all now i do know how cherry tastes and smells so i'll let y'all know oh yes that is a cherry i think i'm about to put this on now let's see oh y'all i think this will honestly replace perfume if this lasts you know i just put some on my wrist so this is gonna be my first test if this lasts me all day, perfume no longer needed. I'm just gonna rack up on, on the, some oil. But that smells really good. This body oil was, um, let me see, $18 as well. Um, it doesn't really say how big of a container this is, but it's still, as you guys can see, this is a lot. And I feel like it's one of those items that a little goes a long way. So I don't think it's one of those things where you need to be drenched and use pretty much half of the bottle within a week. I just think, and plus on top of that, it has this nice little, I don't know if y'all saw, syringe. So it's like literally you can just drop, do like a few or three, few or three, few or three. <laughs> you just do a little few drops of this on like your body and rub it in. Perfect. Okay, the next thing is this oat and honey foaming scrub. Um, oh, I didn't realize they had the actual ingredients on the other side. This one just have avocado, oil, sugar, and fragrance. So I'm pretty sure the guava smell may be accurate. 
and then this one is called oats and honey fold foaming scrub it has a little more items in this one so yeah this one actually you got to apply to some wet skin this one i think it was just Oh, it says apply to wet skin as well. Um, apply to wet skin, gently rub to exfoliate. And um, so this is also like, well, obviously, cause they both say scrub. This is just a moisturizer scrub and this is a foaming scrub. So let me just get y'all quick zoom in on this one. Oh, and honey. Um, this was also $18. This is also as well eight ounce container. Let me smell it. Oh, that this is so to the brim honey they ain't miss nothing with that one and okay this has more of a okay this smell i'm not gonna 100 say i care for 100 percent hmm i don't know how to explain it it doesn't it has a smell that i had before it definitely smells like oats and honey <laughs> um it has that scent where every oat and honey smells smell like that but i would definitely love to see how it smells once it gets on the body because you know how some things when you smell it by itself it's all right but then when you actually put it where it's supposed to be like whether you light the candle or actually spray it or whatever the case may be when you actually smell it on skin it smells 100 percent better i think that's what this what this item is so i'll probably try this one first to see how it smells but i do feel like it's gonna leave like a light hint of a clean smell it's hard to explain it but yeah this is plants and then i say the best for last the reason why i even ordered off this site because honestly yeah i saw the review my friend did i started looking at everyone else's review i even go out on the website browse but honey if i didn't see this peach bomb body cream i think i was just left off the website <laughs> but yes this is what i'm so excited to try this one was actually 25 dollars yes honey um it's also an eight ounce container it has way more ingredients than all this other stuff like literally i can count how many ingredients this is one of the most out of these two this one has probably like 10 10 ingredients this one y'all can see that font is way smaller that's all the ingredients compared to, where is that to this that's quick reading so $25 this is more obviously because it has more ingredients in it homemade labor consider it okay Ugh. these these containers are even hard to open I'm just weak I haven't been working out Ooh, this one comes with a seal obviously because it's more of a liquid <laughs> thingy so yeah Ooh. good oh my god you know okay looking at this i'm just so greedy okay this looks like yogurt <laughs> look at it it looks like yogurt oh this smells so good and it's not even a strong peach smell otherwise that's where you go it's not a strong peach smell it's like a very light i can smell this all day talk about therapeutic smell aromatherapy right here it just gets me happy <laughs> okay kindle and text i see what y'all is doing here this smells really good okay yeah i'm excited to wear this um okay i'm done okay so that is all the products guys y'all saw me with the scrubs the creams the the foaming scrub the oils like i said they sell way more items on their site and a lot of different smells i also want to try this watermelon smell they have but i opt for the guava so if you all are interested into trying these products yourself the link will be below but your girl is gonna go try this out and i'll be back and tell y'all my final review on this product 
starting today, which is August 3rd. I'll be back be the 10th. So, yes, so don't leave just yet. We're not finished. So we are back, y'all. It's been a whole week later since using Ken Care, and I am here to give my final initial review of the product in all. I have my notes here because throughout the week of me using it, I'm writing my notes because I wanted to come back to y'all with real honest, you know, review. <laughs> We're going to start. Oh, one thing I did forget forget to add previously is the how the um material is made not necessarily made but this container is plastic i don't think i ever said that and this is glass so yeah <laughs> uh, i do think um when i was when i ordered from them i had like this little note on this little app that i use to keep track of all my um um orders that i recently ordered and they're shipping and they track and all that stuff you know what i'm trying to say and it had that this product has carbon neutral and I didn't know what that mean so I'm guessing this is like friendly um just earth friendly biodegradable all that stuff so I'm not one shit sure don't quote me on that but I did see that on there on this little notification tag that I got when this stuff delivered so yeah I just want to add that in real quick because I forgot to say that last time so we're gonna hop right into this video now well into the review because we already been in the video anyhow um first thing that i used was the guava scrub and this smells really 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 good on and off the body um so the first thing i do know remember is that when i used it it was very it had a it wasn't strong but it also wasn't like like it's perfectly amount of, it smells as if you put perfume on and it's like a nice little amount about it you know what I mean I don't know how to explain it but it wasn't a very strong smell but it also wasn't like when you put it on your skin so that's really good it lasted a very a very long amount of time because I took a shower I even wrote my shower time towel. I took a shower at 4 30 and then at like 8 53 p.m. I like throughout the time I still smelt it but towards the night at like 8.53 p.m. that's when I started smelling it less and it got a lighter scent so it lasts for a good amount of time it's about like four hours basically um, I also use the cherry bomb showing you guys everything again did this break off oh dang it I need to put this back on um, I did use the cherry bomb as well with the guava um the crazy thing about this is even when I applied it on camera with you all it's very strong when you just smell it as is but on the skin it's very light and it doesn't last long at all the smell is very very subtle on the skin but and it's very strong in the container like it would legit smell like cherries even now putting it on my hand it smells like cherries but pretty sure like in 10 minutes <laughs> or less probably i would just go back it would just be really just feeling oil on my skin I'm feeling moisturized so that's good because you definitely feel moisturized when you're using it so that's good but don't think when you put this on the smell is gonna last because it doesn't <laughs> at least it didn't for me and I tried to use this towards nighttime when I knew that I wasn't gonna be moving a lot so I can definitely see how it handles just want to see how it handles just with the scent how it lasts you know so I used it that one time on camera when I moved around it didn't last long at all and then I used it again before I went to bed and it didn't last long at, as well so yeah it's very good on moisturizing the skin but it's not like meant to make you smell good so you, you know how like Victoria's Secret lotions and stuff it didn't it's not like that it's not going it's not meant to just have you smell good in my eyes it's meant to just give you the moisture you need for your body and then you move on um but one thing i can say is when i did use both of these together i still smelt the guava over the cherry bomb so i applied this first obviously i was in the shower and then when i got out the shower i oiled my body with this and like i said i still smelt this in this together you still smelt their smells but then after a while this wore off and all i smelt was this so yeah and the oil is very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy it gives you a nice amount of shine to your skin and makes you feel moisturized and that's what i really like because you don't have to do too much a lot goes along i mean this one thing <laughs> when you fill it up 
even I didn't even fill it all the way up I filled it pretty much halfway and it still gave nice coverage to my entire whole entire arm so I didn't really need to do too much with it um, the next thing I use now I didn't use any of the scrubs with this I actually just used my um, normal body wash this is the peach body cream one and like I said for the oil this is the same thing it is one of those smells that you smell it but after a while it starts slowly dying off uh, I took a shower at 820 with this and then at like 948 I noticed the smell wasn't as strong as it was before like you literally would have to be doing that to my arm in order to smell it like it wasn't that strong of a scent. It's no Victoria's Secret lotion. It's not one of those lotions that the smell is going to be more powerful. It's just like a nice light smell. And I really like that for going to sleep. Because I kind of felt like, like I said, this one felt like aromatherapy to me for some reason. Smelling it makes me just feel so happy. So it was kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, I definitely can use this before going to bed. And I would definitely feel like at peace and ease. So definitely would buy this again when I run out this one doesn't smell as strong as it does on the body as the container like I said it does give you nice moisture though so that's good like pretty much the body creams and the oil definitely give you a nice moisturized coverage feeling and I'm glad I got one oil and one lotion type of base because I can definitely feel the difference and this still feels lightweight it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like I applied too much like I just put a right amount and tried to oil out my body just to make it feel nice even if I did overdo it I didn't feel like I did it felt very lightweight and I didn't feel like you know how when you apply oil or lotion and then you put your clothes on and then you feel like you're gonna have like prints like the moisture mark of it because it didn't like soak into your skin I didn't get that with these the oil or this and then this one I use less this is the one that the smell I was kind of iffy on but it actually smells way better on the skin versus in a container in my opinion because I don't know what I really was thinking when I got old and honey it literally everything I smelled that was old and honey smell literally like oak and honey especially honey as far as this scrub goes uh, I actually did not write the time when I took a shower. It probably was like around, because I actually used this today. <laughs> it was like around 4, I think. Yeah, it was definitely around 4. Maybe late 3, but 4, something around that time. One thing I can say about this is, this one, the light makes it look so weird. Y'all, there we go. I am so sorry for the lighting. I'm so sorry if I feel like I'm going fast. It's thundering outside and I just, I'm trying to talk slow but and make sure I get everything out. But I'm also trying to beat the thunder sound before it goes off. So yeah, <laughs> that's that. Um, but with this, it smells way better on the skin. It lather up really nice, even though it is a scrub. Once it breaks down from out of the like the crystal uh, crystallization, is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> um, it definitely become like this very nice lotiony feeling. Like it feels really, it applies to the skin really smoothly. Basically, what I'm trying to say. I can say this: the Old and Honey apply way better than the Guava. But the guava smell is way stronger than Old and Honey. Because the Old and Honey smell did not last that. I mean, yeah, it didn't last that long. Because I don't even smell it on my skin anymore. But my skin feel very hydrated and moist. And I only use my lotion that, um, uh, Cetaphil lotion. The sensitive skin one. And it doesn't have a scent to it. So it, it's not like it knocked the, the smell away because of its own scent. It doesn't have a scent. I personally feel like this with the guava moisture scrub it's more of a if you're going out scent because i mean you can still use it when you're going to bed but the smell is just so awakening and so like fresh it makes you want to do something and it i feel like by the smell lasting longer i feel like you would want to wear this outside because when you walk past people they can smell you like when i was literally just walking around the house i smelled myself <laughs> So, I don't know if it's just because it was on me. I just took a shower with it. The smell is just strong. I don't know what it was, but like when I moved my arm, I smelt it and I felt like, you know, this right here will make me not want to wear perfume, which is literally makes me want to just rub this behind my ear and just walk around. <laughs> and then with this one, I feel like it's more the old and honey one. I feel like it's more for when you're just trying to relax 
get ready for bed because it smells very soft it's very subtle and it's uh, not raw it just makes you just want to relax and that's what i got from this and i just personally feel like if you are the type i mean it has a very clean smell so you can, like I said, you can wear either of these in the morning. I'm saying I like this perfume, but you can wash up with either of these, whether it's in the morning or at night. But my preference, I will feel like I will want to definitely use Oat and Honey before bed because the smell just makes you feel like you just left the spa, personally. Yeah. So, yeah. That's my initial review on all of this. Let me just scan my notes, make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything. Would I buy this again? All of this? I would definitely want to try more of the her other items. Definitely. Um, the peach bum cream, definitely going to buy again. And you know, honestly, I would buy all of this again. But I definitely do... <laughs> I do want to try her other items to see what she has. I know she has a, a bath bomb. Like, there's more products I want to try of hers, like the watermelon. I think she has mango. I don't know. If she has a mango one. I'm definitely going to try that because peach and mango. I love it. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much my initial review. I give this product a 10 out of 10. Like literally, if you want to smell good, if you want to have you an at-home spa day because you don't know what's going on with this quarantine, these viruses cases are reversing back and getting worse, and you just want to have you a nice little spa day at home, I definitely recommend getting this product and trying it out for yourself because, honey, my skin literally feel different. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, and it's not even just from using the Odin Honey one today. It's just overall, my skin feel more hydrated, and it does. I don't recall like any sensitivity feeling with my arms. Um, the crazy thing about it is I shaved under my arm. I know, I know. <laughs> um, prior to this, and then I actually used the guava scrub when I first when it first came. I used it under my arm where I realized I was getting razor bumps and it was itchy prior because I shaved like way before the product came like maybe three days two days before then and it was itchy and I was getting irritated and I saw little razor bumps but then I applied this it's gone I didn't even pay attention to the fact that I wasn't even scratching right there I didn't even pay attention to the fact that it disappeared so yeah I definitely approve of this product. Definitely try it out below. I will have the website linked down below so you guys can make it easier to use, well not use, but find the website and order from it. They also have an Instagram page. I may also link that below. So yeah, just look down below in the description to get all the information on this stuff. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the review of it. Um, I tried to be 100% honest about it because I don't want nobody to spend their money on something that's not worth it <laughs> in my opinion because yeah i took one for the team so yeah that's pretty much it make sure you all thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this whether it's trying skincare products or hair or food whatever the case may be just let me know comment down below i'm willing to try whatever and yeah that's pretty much it bye my lovies have a nice day or night whatever you're watching us